Elfin Wood Warbler lives in Puerto Rico, and its numbers are falling as strip mining becomes a threat and a procrastination. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, it remains, it remains a, wonder a wonder to biodiversity. biodiversity. Due to its small populations and restricted habitats, conservation efforts were begun in 1982 to protect the species, but as of 2005, the warbler was still in need of protection. Even now, the elfin woods warbler is not in immediate danger, as the majority of its habitat is within protected forests. Introduced species, habitat reduction, and natural disasters represent potential threats to the population. The elfin woods warbler breeds from March to June. Both parents are involved in the construction of the nest and feeding the chicks. Nests are built to the tree trunk within dry aerial leaf litter, usually cecropia leaves. This is always pleasant to be reminded of when you see a nest crashed underneath a tree, knocked over by the barbaric and greedy economic interests of local strip miners who have no care for the environment. According to the IUCN Red List, the Elfin Woods Warbler is classified as a 3.1 on their scale, meaning that they are both threatened and vulnerable. According to Park Conservation International, it is imperative that the EWWA reclassify the Elfin Woods Warbler as globally endangered due to the fact that it's had a constant decline in population over the last 17 years. EWWA detections in the LEF over a 17-year period were almost triple in the Palo Colorado forest type then in a species traditional elf and woodland habitat in which there was an 80% decrease in the number of EWWA detections from 1998 to 2006. This steep decline in both forest types may likewise reflect the consequences of the hurricanes, such as habitat alteration and degradation, not only the hard-hit elf and woodland, but also the Palo Colorado forest and the more protected southern slope of the mountain. However, many of these threats can be traced to man-made causes, such as stream gravel biting, heavy metal drainage, sedimentation from coal mining, thermal alterations below hydro power dams, and contaminants from point and non-point discharges. These usually cause impoundments, stream channel alterations, water pollution, and sedimentation. And according to the Division of Conservation Partnerships in Atlanta, Georgia, most of its habitat for anything work, so the only thing necessary for evil to try is for them to do nothing. Some men just want to watch the world burn.